They told us we couldn't have our own children in the UK, so we jumped on a plane to Beverly Hills and we designed our own. Hi, I'm Barry Drew Barlow. And I'm Tony Drew Barlow. Welcome to our family. I'm a father first and I'm a husband second. Tony and I met 30 years ago. And in those days, two men couldn't even adopt. And we just wanted kids, we wanted children so bad. So we had to find an egg donor, first of all. And for our first set of twins, that egg donor was called Tracy. We had five failed attempts at the IVF, and then it was just elation when we finally found out that we were pregnant. Then we found out we were pregnant with twins. Who knew that we'd have to make history to have babies? We were the first same-sex couple in Europe to have children. They made history as the first children in Britain to be born into a gay parent family. A millionaire gay couple have said that they intend to go to court. So we're both the biological father of one of the children in both sets of our twins. Why are you so keen to have a girl? You shouldn't spend money on your children. Other people say, well, if you've got it, what else would you do? We have five children and two personal assistants. We have the first set of twins, Aspen and Saffron, who are 17. I'm Aspen, and I'm the oldest in the family. Aspen's our sensitive child, isn't he? I'm Saffron Derek Barlow, and I'm part of one of England's most unusual families. So the one thing me and the Daily Mail agree on, Saffron is the most spoiled child in Britain. Oh my God, what's going on? Oh, we just went to the shops. You didn't just go to the shops, you bought the whole store. Then we've got Orlando, who's 13. My family usually makes jokes about me being frozen, but I know what they're all like, so I don't take it seriously. He was made at the same time as Aspen and Saffron in, in the late 90s, but we put him on ice, so we put him in the freezer, literally. So we froze him for four years. That well, could be why he's got such a cold personality now, you maybe. know. And we have Jasper and Dallas, our youngest set of twins, who are seven. From a different egg donor but the same surrogate as Orlando. And it does get confusing. Do you know what? I'm mean? actually getting confused myself. Yeah. We've got five children currently and possibly another two on the way. What? Yeah, well, you never know. Never say never. Never. But you never know what's around the corner. Scott's been with us for five years and he came as my personal assistant but really is almost like one of the family now. Uh, my name's Scott. I've been working for Barry and the Drew Barlow family for about five years now. Paul is supposed to be my personal assistant. He's taken him over. Everything that Barry asked me to do, I kind of just give to Paul. So Paul's now Scott's assistant. So Barry's assistant has got an assistant. And we've recently just moved into the most beautiful house in Tampa, Florida. The weather's great. So we live on Bayshore Boulevard, which is like the millionaire's row of Tampa. Anybody who's anybody lives here. If there's a scandal going on anywhere, it's going on in Bayshore Boulevard, and I want to be a part of it. We've caused all the trouble we can cause now in the UK, so now we're here to raise havoc in the USA. We decided as a family to do a DNA test, so we decided Let's get the egg donor over and let's ask her loads of questions and let her, let her meet the kids properly now. They're a lot older. Do you know what I did? I called Tracy. I've invited her around for dinner tonight. Tracy's my biological mother. I'm not really that bothered. But why, though? She's not our mum. She's still the egg donor. That didn't quite go as we expected, did it? I mean, at the end of the day, I've invited her to come. So you are going to be nice, at least, I hope dress up and make an effort. No, she can dress up for us. When Daddy surprised us that Tracy was coming for dinner, we, I think he thought we were going to be, like, really happy about it, but we really weren't. I was absolutely disgusted at the way my children reacted to Tracy wanting to come over. Stop. We're not going to get into a massive argument about this, are we? And you're not going to make her feel uncomfortable. I just want to ask her a few questions. Okay. What questions do you want to know? about some report in the newspapers. There's always reports. The yes, Daily Mail love to write shit about us all the time. Sounds like she likes to say stuff about us too. Call us spoiled brats and everything. It's tough enough being the first child being raised by two gay parents anyway, but then when your egg donor writes something about you, it just makes it even worse. 
I thought I was doing you the courtesy of bringing her over so that you could have a chat about, you know, your ancestry.com and all the rest of that kind of shit. And you know, I feel like you're throwing it back in my face. Oh, I kind of want to clear the air about some stuff. But I don't think she thinks there's any air to clear. Well, she's do. got something coming then, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. And what is exactly your issue? Talking about us saying that we're overspoiled. Well, I'm not being funny or anything, but if we look on your wish list for Sephora this week, I bet there's about three grand's worth of stuff on there, isn't there? I... And I'll knock that smile right off your face if you start tonight, girl, because I'm not in the mood for it at all. I need to lie down or something. I'm actually getting a headache with it all. I can't believe you've started this tonight. And now it turns out that they actually want to confront Tracy. We live in a goldfish bowl. We have done since the day you were born, and that's the way we are. There's no getting around it. We were the first ones in the UK to have a family like ours, so there's consequences with that. We've shared our lives with the media since Aspen and Saffron were born. So what you see is what you get. Open, honest, loving family. Whether you like it or not. And Scott, just for one night with one of our guests coming into the house, can you please not flirt with them? Just take a back seat and remember your place. I'm not going to flirt with them, Mother. Well, that'll be the first mother you haven't flirted with that's come in this house. And I want you to welcome her into our house and show her how wrong she actually was with the comments that were made in the newspaper. Don't sit there like a pair of spoiled brats. Show her that you're not those kind of people. <laughs> There are three things that Saffron does. One is spending money, two is taking her time to get ready, and three is having attitude with both of us. Saffron! Saffron! The table needs setting! Saffron! Everyone always says I take a long time to get ready. Saffron! Move your ass! But I don't know what they're talking about. Honestly, that girl's gonna be the death of me. Boys, keep an eye on this. Don't go near that stove. I'm just gonna go and get your dad. We've got some fantastic greens for dinner tonight. Mmm. Jasper and Dallas are the most funniest boys ever. They're just the most honest pair. I, well, I know I've all. Oh, they kids. are the most honest pair. They're of wonderful children ever. And they would never tell us a lie. The whole day has been about. Tracy's dinner. We're all going to meet Tracy at this dinner. So Barry's cooking away in the kitchen all day. Yeah, not just cooking away. I've been slaving away. Slaving away over that cooker. I know. No, Tracy shows up, and nobody's pleased to see her. Look who's here. Oh, big, big guy. <laughs> Hi, guys. When Tracy came, I wanted to clear the air about the Daily Mail article. I've been wanting to ask you a question about a news article that was written. When Aspen took the egg donor outside, my heart was pounding like you wouldn't believe. Something about you saying we were spoiled and stuff like that. I never said anything like that. The woman who interviewed me twisted my words. I called that woman afterwards, too, and I gave her a nice tongue lashing because I didn't want it put in. I didn't even want the article ran at all. And I'm sorry if, if that in some way hurt you. I'm good? Yeah. <laughs> Next time, we'll all get together and we'll give them something and we'll all sell the story for loads of money. That's right. what I say. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. She started crying about what I said, but then why would you cry if you hadn't done it? I'm certainly not perfect, but... Well, none of us are. To make the evening go a bit smoother after that, I accepted her apology and... just forgot about it, really. <laughs> I 
I don't really look like anyone else in the family, so when Tracy showed a picture of her uncle, it looked a lot like me, so I was very excited. You don't think that's you as a baby? But then she told me what happened to him. But when he was four, um, unfortunately, he had run out into the street to go after a ball that they were playing with, and a trash truck hit him, and it killed him. Orlando, who has no idea who he looks like because he looks like none of us, including the egg donor, was then hit with, oh, by the way, you look like one of my relatives. Here's a picture. Oh, and he was squashed by a garbage truck when he was four years old. It was like, what the fuck? The boy's going to have nightmares. Now I have a fear of garbage trucks. So we sit down for dinner. You can start whenever you're ready, but you want to start with the vegetables, because the vegetables are amazing. I've been cooking them all day. It's salty. I like salt, but there's salt, and then there's, like, an ocean of salt. It was disgusting. <laughs> Hang on a second. That is not right. That wasn't me, I can tell you right now. Saffron, just order us some food. I don't know what happened. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry, Tracy. You're trying to kill me. In my head, I was thinking, oh, my God, Aspen. You did, but nothing like that, bro. Oh, pizza. <laughs> See, so used to a happy. When the pizza came out, I felt like the Beverly Hillbillies. The only people who seemed to be happy about it were Jasper and Dallas. Pizza! This is Princess, she's my Pomeranian. So being the creative person that I am, Saffron asks me every now and again to groom her dog. So I improvise. I mean, why can't there be a gender neutral Pomeranian? We're all done. Sa? Sa? Look! Surprise! Ta da What have you done to it? Me? Yes. Look at him. Oh, no. I, I, I dried her, but I didn't actually do her. Blue is the new pink, but Saffron wasn't having any of it. It looks a state. No, she looks gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's a princess, not a prince. Well, think frozen, darling. Elsa's blue. Elsa, so it's a Smurf. I'm actually, I give up with you. It was Aspen, so I'd have it out with Aspen. Luckily, Aspen and Scott took most of the blame. I know it was so you. I'm the only one without blue on my hands. There's a thing called gloves. Princess. Was it Daddy? 